Okay, so as you can see, the damage to the trumpet, that nice, what we call a bell buckle. So the metal has gave way. It's not a dent, it's actually crimped, right? So it must have went <laughs> slammed into something or pushed into a wall, but that impact is folded and creased, and we call that a buckle. So first things first is you kind of want to do the opposite of what happened. So if it took an impact like this to fold it, we're going to go ahead and take our rawhide hammer and hit on the bell and straighten it out first. Okay, so if you don't have a fancy bell forming mandrel, um, you just use your knee. So all we're going to do is look for where the lip comes up and tap it down. and get it relatively flat. All right, and then once you get it nice and close enough to flat, we're going to go ahead to our roller and start taking out. We're going to go ahead and move over to the roller and start taking out these creases. All right. Sorry, I had to put some tunes on. It was, a, it was boring in the silence. <laughs> so anyways, all we're going to do is we're going to attack first the high spots. So we think of the dents as we think of mountains where there's peaks and valleys and all of these indents are valleys and all of these uh, uh, protruding parts are the peaks. So we're going to go after the peaks first. You're just working these folds out, smoothing the brass, smoother out. All right, now we'll attack some of those valleys. And at some point you kind of go back and forth, back and forth to the peaks, to the valleys, to the peaks, to the valleys. You'll have to push it beyond You'll have to bring it back. You'll have to go further, too far, and then bring it back until everything is smoothed out. And some of these creases, they're gonna be there forever. So this metal, this metal is changed, forever changed, forever scarred. Unless you have a dent machine. But at that point, you're thinning the metal and actually changing changing the metal then by making it thinner squeezing it out this way we're not thinning out the brass we're just flattening it there's going to be some stretch but it's going to be minuscule not nearly as much as it would if you were to use a dent machine now that is one way that you can get the scars completely gone is with the dent machine but i don't have thousands of dollars or room for it 
This is just a $50 roller and a $10 rawhide mallet. Time, patience. And some light. Definitely need the light. I'll work out some of these peaks. A whole lot of back and forth. There are several ways of doing this. This is just one way. This is the cheapest way. <laughs> and the only way that's the least abrasive in for in you know in means of what you do to the characteristics of the brass and what you do to the material. It's the dent machine, you're thinning, squishing and and expanding. And with using a mandrel a bell forming mandrel and a burnisher you're doing the same thing also you're just flattening flattening the metal but this all you're doing is just pushing out the dents you are gonna have to hammer a little bit like right here and you can tell right here get it to focus so right there, I'll have to hammer to flatten it a little bit. Right there, you can see too. But already, right here, there's the scars that I'm talking about. Right there. Those are there forever unless you go more aggressive and manipulate the brass and thin it and completely flatten it. So, but I'm just going to hammer it and then just keep rolling. Keep on rolling. Grab a hammer quick. And for the hammer, as I'm talking off camera, as for the hammer, I'm going to start with the Delrin. Small, very little impact. You want to be the least abrasive you can from the beginning. On a good, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, so light taps to begin with, it sounds hollow. And keep tapping and tapping. And when it sounds nice and firm, that's when the metal is on the metal. You don't want to start hammering if it sounds hollow, you're just going to give yourself a whole bunch more dent work. So you want it to sound nice and firm hits. Not that, yeah. All right, let's roll out a little more. There's a couple nasty little spots. You can take this as far as you want to go.
And now all it is is just finding the remaining peaks and valleys. See like, right there there's a little wobble. Right there my face gets skinny. You're just looking for light and how the light reflects. And all these waves. And all we're going to do is just keep rolling until those waves are gone. I start from the inside and roll out. We're just trying to get uniformity in the bell to make it look nice and straight again. couple spots yet here 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 so are where the peak those are where the valleys were you can see the metal the scarring on the metal the scarring will be there but there's still there's still something wrong with the light dang it come on so the scars are still there but the light ripples around it so there's still a dent. So here, here, here. And if the, the light shortens, it's in. But if my thumb were to be getting wider, then it's going out. So we're gonna keep going after those. I'll go on the outside at first. Like I said, you're gonna have to go, you're gonna possibly have to go back and forth a few times, these dents. Just take your time. And go back over. Some of these aren't coming out, so for the tooling I have here right now, some of these small crevices are going to stay. Just based on my limitations I have at home. Right there. Getting there, a little wavy. I'm not perfect. Right here. I'm limited with five years experience. So by no means am I an expert. But the more I keep at it, the better I'll get. Well, hopefully. And you can still see there's those little lines, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get those out. This may be it. That might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, we're gonna go after the throat. For that I gotta grab a different mandrel. Alright. Alright. To go after the throat. Get our other mandrel out. And we're just gonna start rotating it on there. You're probably not gonna be able to see the dents coming out, but. We're just re-rounding that throat from where it took the damage. See, like right here, it took a lot of damage. So the metal up into the throat. So we got the rim, the flare, and the throat. 
So the throat, that's what we're going after right now. There's flat spots. Right here. Right there. So now we're just going after those flat spots. And as you're working the metal, you can see the reflection. You have lights, of, ideally lights above you. If you start to feel it in your wrists, you know, take a break. It's not worth murdering your arms over. There's a little spot there. A little couple spots. Right there. So and like I said, with the tooling that I have available to me right here with these couple of tools, this is, I'm, I could spend several hours, go after each individual tiny little dent, but there's a point where you have to wage your time over value. Not a little bit right there yet. A couple spots where those creases were but for the most part I'm gonna call her good for now and what you're gonna, gonna want to do is just let the metal sit for a little while sometimes the dents will reappear some some technicians believe in metallurgy some don't so the, I mean it might show up again but it might not but we're gonna let it sit for a while and then I'm gonna go ahead and just finish smoothing it out